Hey everybody, it's um, Sunday, <clears throat> April 21st, a uh, little update here. Um, this week, we've actually been oops, kind of busy. Um, it's been all about the shine here. Um, we've had a couple of things that we've done, um, both here and uh, at the shop. Um, first off, let's take a look. Our um, police interceptor is cleaned up and ready to go. Come out really well. Um, looks good. This car has pretty good care. Basically, remove the um, sticky, you know, stuff from the decals and everything like that. And did a little buff. She came out, uh, came out pretty well. Pretty happy with this one. Got some covers for the NMO mounts for the antenna. Covered those up. Um, we did go to Ford and we got new emblems for the back. Um, those two were not there and that one there was kind of messed up. But she uh, cleaned up really well. We do have a couple spots where they got a little aggressive taking the stripes off and they dug into the uh, dug into the clear coat right there. I don't know if the camera's picking it up and then there's a the big one is right here. So basically just brush touch those for now. Um, keep the clear coat from peeling and we'll uh, get back at that. We'll basically, I think we'll probably have to spray a little base and uh, re-clear the door and the quarter panel. But the inside cleaned up really nice. I did go to the salvage yard yesterday and I, I got this headliner. It was eighteen dollars and eighty cents, and there's not one hole in it. It's absolutely perfect. So we changed that out, and that's about it. She's now she's now a driver. The, let's see another animal cover. The white bar. Uh, wire holes. We plug those up. Up in the front, put her satellite radio in. But she uh, she cleaned up real good. Looks good. It, it looks good. Like I might say this week we're all about the shine. Took her, went down to the DMV yesterday and uh, got it licensed. So ready to go. So the other thing that we did um, as at work. We uh, got a golf cart, and um, not really what we do, but a little project for the boss, you know. And when the boss, sorry about that, when the boss is all excited about doing stuff, you know, it's what we do. So we got a golf cart. It was a uh, an, a rental golf cart from one of the local country clubs. It was white. Um, I mean, it was an okay shape, but it was kind of rough. Anyways, so we took it all apart, and we took the, the hood, the front piece, and, and then there's like a rear body piece on it, and we took those pieces, and uh, we cleaned them up, and we painted them, and I have painted before, um, I've actually painted quite a bit, but it's been a long time, a long time, and um, the last painting I did was pretty much back in the... For the most part, it was back in the day of, you know, acrylic enamels and stuff like that. Emron was a big deal back then. And um, so, this is a little different. We did base coat, clear coat. Um, the boss jumped online and he got uh, the Uricam in a, I think it was a hot chocolate candy. And the Uricam uh, 410 clear. So, 
the, this is the second golf cart that we've done. The first one, um, we actually had painted at another shop, and um, it was okay. You know, it, it was all right, nothing special, kind of peely and stuff. But so he says, "Well, let's do this one here." Okay. So we went over to uh, Harbor Freight, and this is not to ignite any discussion at all. Trust me. We went over to Harbor Freight, and uh, we picked up one of their part number six six two two two. Uh, spray guns, the purple one, um, $34.99. So I believe the Eurochem, the reducer, the clear, the, the base, the activator, I believe it was right around $100. So pretty much we have, uh, you know, like $150 invested in this, and that's with buying the spray gun. So um, at the end of this, I'm going to all tag on a video of that, and you can see how it is. Uh, my point being is, you know, if you just kind of work at it a little bit, and you don't have to have the real expensive stuff, you can get pretty good results. Um, we're very, very pleased with the golf cart. It came out really great. But I would like to uh, thank my friend, Fred, at uh, Jeff Just Hagen. Um, I gave Fred a call. And uh, kind of picked his brain a little bit about the spray gun, you know, uh, settings and how to use it. And, you know, the product, he uses that too as well. And, uh, man, he was just spot on. He led me down the right road. And we had great success. Come out like a million bucks. So everybody's very happy with the golf cart. So that's, that's essentially been our week. Um, between this thing here and doing that at the shop, that's what I've amounted to this week. So, can't think of much else. Uh, I've been watching a few videos. Um, some of our friends, you know, a little bit to the north, they can't catch a break on winter. It just doesn't end. And I feel sorry for them. But uh, uh, it's been, it was cold here at the beginning of the week, but the weather the last two, three days has been really, really nice. So, can't complain about that at all. So, like I say, that's about it. Um, now that this little project here behind me is done and in a driver, I'll uh, be bringing our 77 truck back in, our C10. I'm kind of anxious to work on that again. I think I've gotten all the distractions out of the way. The laser is ready to go. Next weekend we will be autocrossing again with the laser. Um, or Maybe something else. You never know what we show up in autocross with. So uh, we'll take you guys along for that. Tonight, um, as it is Sunday, once again, it's the Mumble. Um, you guys get on the Mumble. Say hello. Good time. And uh, like, I say, like I said it before, and I'll say it again, if you have any questions on how to get hooked up on the Mumble, go to WTBM123's channel, Terry. He's got very good videos on there of how to set yourself up. So do that and hang out with the cool guys. So, um, like I say, I'm going to tag up this little video now of the uh, golf cart. And I guess that's about it from here. So, till either tonight on the Mumble, we talk to you guys, or next time we put up something interesting. Take it easy. Okay, um, we're down at the shop. We had a little golf cart project, as you can see. But uh, the main thing is, I uh, wanted to say thank you to Fred, just hogging. Um, talked to him on the phone, gave me some advice, and this is the end result that we got. These are the pieces that we painted. They come out really, really good. Very, very happy with them. Lighting in here so so, but uh, yeah. I don't know how they're showing up in here, but they come out really, really good. And this was done with the um, Eurochem base coat, clear coat. I think the 410 clear. And this was shot with a uh, $34.99 
Harbor Freight Spriggan. Um, so there you go. And we are not painters by any stretch of the imagination. This is actually a very dirty environment. But that just kind of shows some of the results that you can get with just a little effort and a very small monetary investment. So these pieces go on that golf cart. Those are the wheels for it, which not really thrilled about the color of those. And the dash, the seats and stuff haven't gotten here yet, but uh, yeah, there you go. So quite pleased. And once again, Fred, thank you very much. Your advice was spot on. We had no issues whatsoever. And like I say, we're not painters, so this is the kind of thing that anybody could do. So there you go.